Okay. Uh, good afternoon for everyone. So I'm really happy to see all of you again. And this is our Alliance session, which is dedicated to Erasmus Plus opportunities for individuals. So let's wait for three uh, minutes more, then uh, we will start our session. And hopefully you will find this session very interesting because this session will help you to understand what kind of opportunities available for the students, for the bachelor degree, and for master degree. All right, so let's wait for three minutes. All right, uh, we are ready to begin. So uh, once again, hello everyone, so good afternoon. So my name is Mahmoud John Kuruf and I'm a project manager in National Erasmus Plus Office in Uzbekistan. Uh, so our, the main responsibility in here is to support the young individuals for the B, uh, for the spreading the information about the opportunities for Erasmus Plus. And uh, furthermore, I will also indicate some of the opportunities which definitely will be really useful for the, especially the master's and bachelor's degree students. And as uh, you know, the title of today's session is Erasmus Plus Opportunities for Individuals. So therefore, the main priority goes to the opportunities special dedicated to uh, the people who really want to study uh, the Europe, especially this is a special opportunity for the people who really want to study abroad in European Union countries and 27 countries existing in European Union. And uh, let's start from the beginning. So today's session divided into three parts. The first part is uh, just uh, the quick, the energizer, let's say we will also uh, identify your interest and your currently knowledge about the Erasmus Plus, the old opportunities and the older programs will show it and it's uh, underlined the, the, the name of the opportunities. And afterwards, we will also uh, present our presentation. And this is our main part because this main part will also 
told about tell about two opportunities which existing in the Erasmus Plus. So the first one is international grid mobility, uh, where you can do the exchange program to the European Union universities. The second one is Erasmus Mundus Joint Masters. And with the help of these two programs, so uh, you can also do your bachelor or master in different countries in the European Union. And hopefully this will be really helpful for all the people who's just joined in today's session. And the third part of today's the session is uh, the, the really quick uh, quiz game. Then we will also the playing game with you in the cupboard. So how you listen it carefully uh, today's session and with the help of this information, we also created this the quiz. This is helpful for you to understand and get to know about the Rasmus Lab opportunities. And finally, we'll have the also a question and answer the session where you can ask any question related to today's session. Um, if you hesitate to ask directly in this the Zoom session, you can also leave your comments over the Telegram channel. So this is also the possible and we'll give you answer. Okay, so now we are ready to begin. So let's start uh, our today's session with quick energizer. Okay. This is how, how it looks. First of all, dear guests, so you need to go to the menti.com and we will play the game. Uh, so this game is the namely the menti.com and with the help of this the link, with the, you can also write the, the password and we will also the playing game all together. So be faster. So I'm also analyzing the how many active participate uh, participants they play in the game together, and uh, it helps you uh, to uh, know more about the knowledge about today's session. And I really recommend to you to join the Manticom. Okay, we will have the two people who all, already joined to the Manti.com. We're waiting for the rest of the people. Uh, okay. Yeah, be faster. So we are waiting for you here. Uh, just write the demand.com and just put this password 10582-1181. Okay, be ready because it's really important for me to get to know the audience so what kind of exactly opportunities you know within the frame of Erasmus plus and based on this uh, menti.com I can also point out some very vital information which you can also consider really useful so uh, we received four people they already joined to the menti.com I am waiting for more people so do not hesitate, do not uh, think that this is a very a difficult task for you. Just from your side, it's just to click to the menti.com and just write this password again. Um, we are waiting for the rest of the people. So we have already five people who's waiting for our the start uh, sessions, very um, huge interest. So, okay. They are waiting for me. Okay. Some people, they are still joining. Even though we several time, we remind them to start and particularly at uh, sharply 3 p.m. But that's okay. Um, let's wait for two minutes again. And after two minutes, we will start with uh, menti.com and once we finish it after the menti.com we will go to directly to, to the main presentation of the Erasmus Plus opportunities for individuals. Okay. 
Okay, anyway, let's start. So the rest of the people, they also can join the when we starting the menti.com because this is a very good platform where we can uh, join in the any time that you want. But the only thing that's the main moderator should be the line, okay? So once I'm online here, so we can also join the menti.com without any difficulties. So seven people, they are waiting for the starting of this game. Okay, let's get started. Uh, first slide. So please write your university. So which university are you from? Just you can just uh, write your university with the abbreviation. Let's say tweet. Let's say touch university information technologies because this is also important for me. Uh, which university student they are coming? They are joining to today's session. Okay. Received three responses. Bridge University Management. Bridge Management University. Okay, they write this the one university in Cyprus relying. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry. Uh, some okay, was it here? Uh, Tashkent State University, Tashkent State Lobby. Okay. Five responses were received. Okay, be faster. Gupkin University. This is also good. Tashkent State University is the main priority. So seven people, they responded that said they are the student of Tashkent State University. All right. Cool. So any other responses that we need to wait for them? Um, okay, we can go further. Uh, the main uh, majority people, they are from, from Tashkent State University. Okay, congratulations. Good job, dear students. Next one. So please, the, the write your occupation. So you need to just uh, the click. This is a uh, multiple choice equation. So the students, teacher, administrative staff, so on. Okay. According to the results, we received that one the the participant they are teacher. Wow, equality. One student, one teacher, and only one administrative staff. But uh, the people they are joining and they are still uh just typing their answer. So let's wait for them as well. Fourteen people they are joining. Yeah, let me just write this the code of this game. I just wrote uh the hour the game the magic.com if someone's this of the interest to join this the game please um, also join i will also point out the password the password is 758 um, dear participants so please uh they keep silence till you know playing the game together Okay, according to the statistic, so if you can see the results, it shows that four people, they are students, 
and one teacher and one administrative staff. Okay, that's let's go for now. We can go further. The next slide. So what kind of Erasmus Plus opportunities with programs do you know? We can write the squeezy with abbreviation, let's say Erasmus Mundus Joint Master Degree, Erasmus Mundus, or Joint Masters, or the other related programs, so ICM, maybe uh Brief Mobility, so on and so forth. Okay, to receive four responses, exchange program, internships, and two emojis. <laughs> the first one is smiling, second one is being sad. Okay, Erasmus Mundus, John Manet, Cole, the capacity building higher education. Wow, that's awesome. That means the people around us. They know about our programs which dedicated to higher education as well. So capacity building higher education, this is the top, top priority opportunities for the higher education. Internship, Erasmus Mundus, wow. Erasmus Mundus joined us degree with Elmer's offer. Okay. Exchanging programs, joint master degrees, exchange program, John Manet, capacity buildings. Okay, we received 10 responses from the participants of today's session. All right. Next one. So let me click one. Okay. Bachelor versus let's say and masters. So how many of you you want to uh do your bachelor degree in the European Union? And how many of you you want to do your master's degree in European Union? Let's say this is the opportunities for the first one is exchanging semesters for the students in the several several semester. The second one is exactly getting the master degree program. Okay, two students, they want uh, the receive to plan for the exchanging semester and bachelor degree, but the, the only the one, the person who wants to do his or her master degree in uh, European Union with the help of Erasmus Mundus joint master degree. Okay. Okay. Two versus two. Bachelor masters. Uh all right. Next slides. The which country within the European Union are you willing to study? This is also important because you know the 27 countries, including the European Union, and which exactly the top destination for the students. Where they can where they can do their bachelor and master degree. So according to your thoughts, so which top uh, location is suitable to study? Germany. This is cool. And the interesting fact about Germany, the higher education in this country is absolutely free of charge for many students. They pay more attention to the study. Switzerland. Okay, not bad. That's uh that exactly this is uh the question more somehow more or less related to the logical meaning because you see it depends on the field the sphere the which sphere you want to study for example in some location they are better in some information technologies maybe and some of them maybe another okay you will receive Italy Spain France and one emoji emoji is anger. Representing the illustrating the anger. Okay. We received overall seven responses. Okay, not bad. Now, the question for you what would you like to learn in today's workshop? Okay, you can write anything. So, the interesting thing for you, for example, the deadlines for the scholarship or the, the main criteria, how to you want to grant in particularly Erasmus Mundus or the ICM program. Okay, Erasmus scholarships for master degree. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, we will also um, give detailed information in today's uh, presentation um, for all the scope of Erasmus scholarships and how you can win and what kind of uh, documents you need to apply for the Erasmus Women's Joint Master degree. Okay. We are waiting for you, your participants. So do not hesitate, just write your answer. How can we exchange abroad? So what are the requirements, deadlines? Is it free? Which documents do we need? When can we already exchange? Okay. Joint master degree. Okay. It's better to uh, divide the specific question exactly um, where I can give you directly the answer. It's possible to win Erasmus scholarship without gap year after the bachelor's degree. Okay, good question. I will also the give the answer for this the question during our today's online session. To continue my last year bachelor's in Germany, no more Erasmus programs. Okay. How to win scholarship for a master degree? We need to know both English and German. Okay, it depends. It depends. I will also the, give the detailed answer. Do not worry. Okay, if you're done with all these, your questions. So I received the mainly the five questions for now. Uh, the overall, the, for you, it's more interesting Erasmus from the student master degree to do your masters, as I understand. But some of you, you are the last year bachelor student that you want to study in Germany. Okay. Um, now we can go with the further is uh, next slide. Now I think it's time to get started. Okay, here we go. Because our the main uh, uh, topic is for Rasmus Women's opportunities, and let's go for our main slides. Okay. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah, as you can see in your screen, uh, Erasmus Mundus, not uh, all opportunity for Erasmus, but opportunity for individuals. And I prepared this presentation on behalf of Erasmus Plus team. So uh, hope uh, you will find this presentation very useful. Okay, first of all, let's give the answer for the what's Erasmus Plus. Many of you may, you may know some, what does it mean Erasmus Plus and why exactly? Uh, this program is very helpful and top uh, programs in the European Union. Uh, I will give the answer the short in a very top three season. So what's Erasmus Plus? The first one is Erasmus Plus. This is a European Union program to support these fields, the, particularly education, training, use, and sport. However, in Uzbekistan, for the Pakistan, for the, all the organization, all the people, they may apply for the higher education because that means Erasmus Plus, this is awful for the only higher education that field for the Pakistan. So maybe further, we can also promote the training, the use and the sport. This is the other type of European Union's program. The second one is funding for the programs, projects and scholarship. That means, uh, as you know that this, uh, Erasmus Plus yeah, gives you the opportunity to do your uh, different levels of your the education background and so on. But the keep in mind that this also gives you the opportunity to develop your project and do your research and get a scholarship uh, to promote, to, uh, to develop your the further project together. 
And the, the third one is, of course, there is European Union to European Union and the European Union to international cooperation. That means Erasmus Plus has two dimensions. The first one is business in oh. Europe. That means European country university to the European country universities. And the second one is European country university to international cooperation. That means the all over the world. Um, okay, if it's clear, so let's move to the next uh, presentation. The next presentation shows that this Erasmus Plus opportunity covers for all the regions of Uzbekistan. So as you can see that there is no one region, so they can say that we are not available or eligible to apply for Erasmus Plus opportunities because so far we are also receiving in different parts of Uzbekistan, we are receiving the applications that from the universities who wants to uh, be the one of the part partners of European countries universities. So therefore, so all location of Uzbekistan, you may available to apply for the grants of Erasmus Plus. Okay, let's go. In today's session, as I mentioned above, so the two main the opportunities, the two main program which created by Erasmus Plus especially for the students, its first one is International Career Mobility, whose abbreviation is ICM. And the second one is Erasmus Mundus Joint Masters. And these two programs is very helpful for you. It doesn't matter that if you are studying the currently a bachelor in one of the local universities in Uzbekistan, or you can also finish it your university, let's say for your bachelor in different European country, country universities or the other Asian country university. But the same is you may apply for the Erasmus Movement Joint Master de degree. So it doesn't matter as a university background. So you need just uh, have your willingness to apply for these plans. So I will also give information about uh, particularly step-by-step. Step. Uh, the first, the priority goes to the international credit mobility uh, because uh, I will also uh, indicate some key factors. So what's important for the winning the grant in international credit mobility and how you can find the scholarship and what kind of countries available for the Uzbek students. And the second one is Erasmus Mundus Joint Master Degree. So why it's important and how we can find the useful links, uh, what kind of requirements you need to uh, know and you need to prepare in order to apply for Erasmus Mundus. Okay. You may also, when you have any question uh, during this session, uh, do not describe me, please. But at the end, we'll have the five minutes for this uh, Q&A session. So you can give the question or you can just right now, uh, once you have period, the right some questions. So just leave your the question in our chat box, okay? Uh, yeah. Second. Yeah. Um, they uh, request me to the record this session, and I'm also recording the session. And hopefully, after the finishing the, all this session, I will also share these uh, session recordings to our official Telegram channel. Okay, uh, here we go. Here we go. Yes, the first one is international collective mobility. What is it? Now I will explain. International Career Mobility is just short-term higher education mobility for the students. That means this is a special opportunity for you to study in a one semester up to the two semester in different European countries. That's included in the European Union. This is obvious, right? And this is not only for the students. It includes the students, academics, and administrative staff of universities. Because as you know that many people, especially in today's Uzbek people uh, in local universities, even though not only for the students, but also the teachers, they also have a privilege to exchange their experience and get more information about their particular skill in European Union. Therefore, the credit mobility is very, very huge demands from the Uzbekistan side. 
And uh, not only for the students, but the universities, higher educations, they are also uh, requests from us to give more information about international credit mobility. And I do believe that among us, that are not only the students, maybe the other the universities, staff members, professors, they are also joining today's session and they are receiving information about grid mobility. Okay, this international grid mobility, you can also in different academic levels. For example, the bachelor, master, and PhD candidates, they can also they were, they can apply for international credit mobility. This mobility is an any subject of academic discipline. That means uh, if you really want to do your uh, one semester in one of the European uh, Union country universities, you may also feel free to apply for this. Uh, particularly when ICM. And this helps you to do your 102 semester in the European Union, which is suitable in your field. That means within the one semester to the two semester, you need to gather the credits. And after the coming back to your local university, this credit should match the, the subject which you're learning in your own field, okay? Okay, next one is also support the trainership for the students and training for the staff. What does it mean? Let's say if you really want to do your one semester in European Union universities and afterwards, you can also find some internship opportunities within in this country. For example, you want to go to the Germany for the study for the one semester. And after the finishing the one semester, you may also uh, find some opportunities for you to do your internship in particular the companies because we have also but really good opportunities for you this is icm apprenticeship but we'll also discuss it a little bit later and uh, afterwards the studying period and trainership is starting from the two months and ending with 12 months that means one year as you can see this is the two semester only the just simple way this is starting from the two months and the up to the 12 months, this is also up to the credits and the modules. So what kind of modules you are currently studying or the, the existing in your university and after that getting the permission from your university. So you can also apply for these opportunities which created by Erasmus course. Okay, next one. Okay, all right, ICM trainership. Uh, about two minutes ago, I also gives, gave some uh, piece of information about uh, trainership. What does it mean? So study mobility for trainership. Uh, this is also one of the great opportunities for you to learn, first of all, the new experience and exchange your culture. And afterwards, you can also find internship opportunities in top European uh, Union companies. So this is the duration of this ICM trainership is minimum to two months and maximum three months. Why? Because the ICM is, uh, let's say, the exchange, uh, the students, do, that you can also do your uh, one semester to the uh, different university in European Union. That means uh, after the finishing your one semester, you will have the privilege to find uh, internship up to three months. It's minimum two months and up to the three months. And this is in the scale of ICM trainership. So as you can see, there is also, we point out this Erasmus intern.org where we can find the opportunities for doing your internship. And the scheme will not be open to recent graduates. Why? Because this is also the good question, because this is very important, the first fully to you are uh, not the final the year of your university. The first of all, you need to apply for the ICM and one scholarship and then go to the Europe at least for one semester. And after the finishing this one semester, you can find some uh, opportunities for internship. But I do highly recommend for you 
let's say, if you apply for this uh, at the final year, in the fourth year, let's say, it's better to uh, find some academic stuff and your uh, uh, from the your university, you can also request from different professors. So what can you do after the finishing the first first semester in Europe? But I this uh, opportunity is special for the second or third year course students, not recent graduates, especially the second or third year students. Okay, the followed by as organization interested in hosting Erasmus Plus trainers should be placed and advertise their position for free on Erasmus Plus in turn.org. And many the companies, they are also will really want to give opportunity for Erasmus Plus students because as you, need, as you see that uh, students, they want to get more opportunity. They want to do more. They want to show their best. And sometimes it's really hard to where we can do uh, internships in companies, even though it's hard uh, in Europe because this is a new country for you and you don't know particularly the companies where you can do your internship. And in this case, the Erasmus Plus, Erasmus intern that art will help you that you can just uh, enter this uh, domain and find the opportunities for you, what kind of the organization they are trying to host you and they give the opportunity, what kind of condition you want to go, so on and so forth, and all detailed information. Okay, the next one. Okay, the next one is Erasmus Moments. Uh, if everything's clear in ICM, I will also give the particular moment for you to give the question. But uh, as I mentioned, our chat is still uh, available for you. Uh, you can also write your the comments in our chat box. So I receiving your students, uh, your, your message from the chat box. Okay, I will answer this question as soon as possible. But now let's move on to the Erasmus Mundus. This is a very, very um, top uh, topic for the current students because we received before the session, how can I apply for Erasmus Mundus to a master degree uh, and relate the question to this uh, Erasmus Plus project. Okay, this is a quick, uh, really quick information about this uh, Erasmus Mundus Joint Masters high-level integrated and transnational study programs at master level. Uh, the master program for excellence, keep in mind, pay attention to this word, excellence, open to all disciplines, delivered by an international consortium of higher education from different countries worldwide, other partners, offering high-level scholarship to excellent students the worldwide. Uh, why it's very competitive this project because you see all over the world they can apply for this uh, scholarship including the India including Pakistan and the rest of part of the existing countries and due to uh, the some the cases uh, all these opportunities uh, are available for the old students let's say if you really want to study Erasmus in the opportunities and once you re receive the rejection from the first part for the first attempt so there is no some uh, disciplines or rules that we are not uh, available to apply them for the second time no you may also evaluate if uh, you can also apply for the uh, next call of Erasmus members and it's also important to mention the according to the statistic last year so Erasmus Mundus joint master degree, so gave the opportunity for 3,013 students to do their master degree in the European Union. So this is the great opportunity for the 3,000 students so to do their master degree and get scholarship to develop themselves and get to know about European experience this is also one of the dreams of many students. If you agree, <laughs> you can also understand my thoughts. Uh, for this year, 
according to the spots. So he can also apply for this program. And as far as I know, this program will give the opportunity for more than 3,000 students to do their master's degree in European Union universities. And there is no some uh, specific countries which is not including, no, this is all countries that may available. Uh, it could, depends on the countries that were located, but overall, this is very, very competitive uh, program. Okay, taking part as a student. This is a very interesting part because I know that many of you, you are students. So, you know, uh, sometimes uh, as a students, uh, it's hard to uh, get useful information or it's hard to uh, uh, find some people where we can ask you all questions. But now, so you will have opportunities for getting to know about this taking part as a student. Okay, now I'll point out some key features for this Erasmus Women's Joint Masters. The first one I would like to mention, this is the very good scholarship for you. And if you are the good students, so you are gathering, you are attending, you are passing the all your exams. So this program will give you up to the maximum 1,400 euros per month. You see, this is a very good opportunity. This is enough for you for the gathering the all your money. And after the weekends, maybe you can also go to some the border countries and you can also discover the new European countries. And this uh, amount of money, which covers subs substance in the installation and travel, plus and fee waiver. What does mean? So the first of all, once you go, once you win this Erasmus Women's Scholarship and this installation fee it's required from you is uh, to the, the purchasing your the needed materials or the books or laptops and so on. So of course, this is very important and it covers your all expenses. You see how it uh, sounds. Attention to the student is special needs. Yeah, if you have some special needs with the students, let's say, uh, we can also uh, add some uh, privilege the students with special needs. You can also find this, all the detailed information and about mentions link. And I will also just, uh, just came to the link. So catalog with ongoing Erasmus Mundus offering scholarship as uh, this indicated link. Uh, after the finishing our session, I will also share this link and you may also check it out this link and you can get more information about detail in each program, uh, about deadlines, about the rest of the uh, requested the information and documents you will find with the help of this link. Do not worry, so I know you have the still question, how to apply, what kind of requirements uh, need from my side, right? So I think uh, step by step, we'll also answer this question. And now I want to give the information about general requirements. Why general? Because some countries, some universities, they have specific requirements. So it depends on the what kind of the Erasmus Mundus joint master level you want to do in your career. This is important for you to know the university requirements or the country requirements, etc. But overall, it requires from you bachelor's degree diploma with transcript and proof of nationality that copy of passport or ID card. So this is a thing. Uh, all of us will have passports and ID cards. So more sense of difficulties. The motivational letter, this is important for you to write a good motivational letter. Because you see, the motivational letter is the administrative staff, they will also read motivational letter. And according to these motivational letters, so many the students, they do not know how to properly write their motivational letter. So pay attention and write the best motivational letter that you have. Okay, the followed by is recommendation letters. 
recommendation letters is uh, the people the, who recommend you from your admis from your academic staff. Let's say your professor, your university teacher, or the doctorant of the university that give at least one or two semester for you. And this is logically, but I know in some cases, the people, they wrote the recommendation letter or that showed this contact information, it's not uh, related to their academic uh, stuff. Let's say they can also the point out some director of their the work in the companies, but keep in mind that they are also considered the recommendation letters and recommenders who impact your academic stuff. Therefore, it's better to get a recommendation letter from your academic professors and teachers. Okay, and the scanning certificate of English proficiency. What does it mean? It's IELTS, TOEFL, or Duolingo, and etc. So in minimum IELTS requirements, it's starting from 6.5. And not at least uh, in each band, 5.5. If there is lower than 5.5, so you are, no, you are not eligible to apply for this one. But I do recommend, let's say, if you have some IELTS certification, 6.5 at least, you may apply. But keep in mind that the candidate who has more IELTS band score compared to you and uh, he or she writes better recommendation letter and the recommendation letter that the which goes to the this person who this person who has husband sport more than 6.5. So it's better to as high as possible, but as you wish. Okay. The second, the last one, but not least, this is curriculum YT in the Euro Pass format. Keep in mind this has to be underlined as Europass format, not simple curriculum vitae as it's original. It's not so considered as just ordinary curriculum vitae, as CV. If you have curriculum vitae in document or other the template, it's better to immediately do in Europass format because you are applying for the Erasmus Mundus Joint Master degree, which the program of European Union. So many European Union programs, especially scholarships, they require CV in Europass format. Okay, just Google it, just Europass, and just click this website, and it has the free version. You need to indicate your all details, information, your background, and then it shows you in different templates how you can do downloads or share with a simple link. Uh, and and uh, bottom of this page, you can see, please check the web page. Before the considering that you are eligible or not, or what kind of, what kind of documents are needed. As I said that this is general requirements, but it has to be some additional requirements from your side. For example, in some cases, for some universities, in particular in some fields, they require particular knowledge or extracurricular activities and additional training or certification in some particular field. And this is also my uh, happen in some cases. Okay. Next one is Erasmus Mundus Alumni. So this alumni association, it's really helpful for you to find and one of the mentor who won the grant of Erasmus Mundus. Because let's say, you know how to apply, you know where to apply, and you know your profession, but all the thing that you need to need it is the real life person for, from the, in each question, you can ask from him or her and get answered. Sometimes it's really hard uh, to find a proper person who knows your all questions. But in this case, Erasmus Mundus Association helps you. This association is founded in 2006 in upon the initiative of European. But uh, this association is not for all Uzbekistan. This is actually for the all Erasmus Mundus participants all over the world. So uh, in this web platform, just uh, 
they will give your mentorship guidance or the some people who already did their masters in your field, they can also recommend you in the selection and the credits for the professors. So this is also the great opportunities. Or you may ask the question, so how I found this Erasmus Mundus alumni? This is simple. Erasmus Mundus Alumni Association, just write this in the Google. So in the first period, this website will, will be Erasmus Mundus Association because this is only unique uh, with domain Erasmus Mundus Association. So therefore, I think they will not have any problems for to find it. And this, the QR code directly links to you and official journal of opportunities for individuals. As you see, Erasmus plus opportunities. We are receiving some noise. Uh, please, dears, uh, stay muted because after the finishing, uh, I will give you the opportunity to give a question. Um, please. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Here you go. Here's a QR QR code where you can scan and find these uh, opportunities. And this is also very important for you to define the information properly. And I do know that some cases it's hard to find the proper information because uh, we don't know from where we can find this the uh, official information. And this is directly linked to the official website of Erasmus Plus. And you can just trust in this official the link and uh, hurry up to the apply for the Erasmus opportunities. This is all opportunities for you. Uh, okay, let's go to the next one. And the next one is our contact details. So our official website, Rasmus.us, Telegram channel, their Instagram, and email. And keep in mind that Rasmus Plus National Office is always ready to help you. If you have any question, if you have some uh, request from our office, so in particular the programs, feel free to ask from them. And we are ready in the old time to ask your, your question. And here, and our official NEA at erasmusplus.us. This is our official email. So we can answer so your question with the help of this email. Feel free to contact us. I think you already the screenshot this uh, our contact details. And now, just a second. As I promised for you, we will have very interesting topic for based on today's uh, session. We will play the game with you and uh, we will also identify how the session uh, was helpful for you or not. But overall, uh, it will be really interesting for you. And afterwards, we will have about 10 minutes to Q&A session, okay? Uh, now I will switch to the Kahoot game, I think this is also the famous the platform. Uh, okay, just a second. Yeah, here you go. I think now you uh, uh you are looking my uh screen and it appears in the black screen yet yeah, because it's loading. Um. So after the finishing, we can play game together. So get ready, yeah. We are loading to the pin. Once the pin appeared in your screen, just make sure that we need to enter the www.kahoot.it and just write this pin. So we are ready for your participation. And I will repeat this pin 8796447. And keep in mind that this is just limited game, so not all people they are allowed to come. Yeah, uh, I would definitely recommend to write your the exact name because sometimes uh, it's hard to pronounce your correct name. 
So S it is if your name is as a big, that's quite less a big, okay? Yeah, we have the only one, the unique participants ready to start our game. So let's wait for two minutes for rest of the participants. So Aziza, Yelena, okay, our participants are ready. Camila, Fayon, okay. We're still waiting for you. Asapayo, okay. Okay, 70 people. So what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and kaput.it and play games with us. So this will be really in interesting for you. Uh, it's not so hard. This gives you uh, particularly time to uh, write your answer in Kahoot. And after the finishing the all the question, we will also identify the top three active participants in today's session. We're still waiting and express of the people they also consider the participation. Okay, okay, the faster. I repeat one more time. So what we do, um, the Kahoot consists of only the five questions and each question will have only 20 seconds to get the proper answer. And after the finishing the proper answer, it gives you about two, five seconds to be prepared to the next uh, question. And after appearing the next question, you will need to immediately to the click the correct answer that the participants who click the first, they were gonna be winner. Okay, on five people. Yeah. Thanks, Aziza, you were this kaput and password, much appreciated. Okay. Okay, let's get started. So five people, they're still waiting. So maybe, uh, unfortunately, so we don't have much time to wait for the 10 or 15 minutes. Well, the one successful uh, active participant said for, um, she had the privilege to uh, play the game together. Okay, we played the game with six people. Okay, if you don't mind, We need to start. Okay. Oh, the people that's joining. They brought me to wait for two minutes, okay? I agreed for no more than two minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. So only one minute left. Yes, okay, here you go. We started. 
First question. Two, one, go. How many dimensions existing in Erasmus Plus? Just remember and select the correct answer. Okay, so we received uh, one person asked for the three dimension and uh, one person asked for four dimension and uh, the only two people, they asked for the two dimensions. So this is ex exactly the two dimension because as you remember, this is European Union to European Union and European Union to international corporation. The correct answer is two. Okay, the next question. Okay, uh, according to the results, so Asad Tayyip is uh, goes to the first place according to the first round. And let's start to the second question. Okay, all four areas are open for participation of Uzbekistan. This is just three or four question, just um, quick, true or four, false. Okay, three of them, they wrote the answer as a true. The three of them, they found the correct answer, false. This is false because I see remember that the only higher education I love before is Pakistan. Okay, next question, Aziza. Wow, good job. For the second round, our first place goes to Aziza. Okay, next one, this is also the quiz. Which program gives short-term mobility of students and staff between associated and non-associated countries? You have 20 seconds. The options are Erasmus Mundus Joint Master, Erasmus Interns, International Credit Mobility, and Erasmus Mundus Students and Alumni Association. Thumbs up. So the correct answer is international Korean mobility. The three of them, you found correct answer. Awesome. Now, wow, again, look at the competition. Asad Toyru uh, goes the achieved first place. Okay, now we will have the course question. When was Erasmus Mundus Association founded? If you are good with numbers, so I think this is not a problem for you to find the proper answer. This is 2005, 2007, 2006, 2008. And correct answer is 2006. Yeah, you got the correct answer. The four people, they found the correct answer. Okay, let's see the results. As I tell you, is the top our actually participating our um, game of the game. Okay. Okay, the final round. Select the periods of ICM. This is also a simple question for you. I don't think this is so hard for you. Starting from 2 11 or 3 months, 5 to 30 days, 12 to 24 months. And yeah, majority of you, you found the correct password. So the correct password is starting from two months and in this 12 months. Awesome, good job. And so the results, the podium goes to the third place goes to Yelena. Wow, Yelena, congratulations. The second place goes to Aziza. Aziza, congratulations. And our winner is, let's see, Asad Tayyip. Congratulations, Asad Tayyip. So this uh, three participants, they are really attentively listening to our the presentation and they achieved as the top participants. Congratulations. Okay, uh, uh, for now, 
this is the ending of our the official part. And now I move on to the question uh, that you wrote to the chat. Um, mm -hmm, okay. Okay. To apply to an ICM, you need to study only uh, the National University of... No, no, you see. Uh, in order to apply for the ICM, the project, you need to the address to the international office in your university. This is the office, which helps you to provide the detailed information. Because in your university, they hold existing, in particular, this uh, staff member to give the detailed information. For example, uh, in your university, let's say, which university? Uh, Economic University in Uzbekistan. So they will have the partnership uh, with uh, three or four European universities. So they will give you a proposal to their uh, European Union, the partner. And in this case, you can also uh, apply for uh, this opportunity ICM in order to study your two or one semester in Europe. Uh, it's not mandatory to your study or not to National University of Uzbekistan, but all universities who is involving Erasmus Plus, so they may apply for the ICM. Okay. Uh, what I'm studying foundation uh, here at the university and want to study second semester abroad or the Erasmus, which faculty will it be? Okay. You are studying the foundation year. The foundation year is just the beginning. And you want to do uh, exchange, achieve the exchange in the next semester or the next academic year in the uh, different European Union universities. It's up to the your wish. Let's say if you want to continue your uh, studies in this field, it's strongly recommended from, to you to do your uh, exchange semester in your field. Let's say if you study in the first course and you want to get the scholarship to this your second semester or the second academic year, it depends on the, your faculty and the grant. So in the, how uh, uh, how much time does it take for the uh, doing your credits in order to earn your credits within it's enough to only the one semester or the two semesters. And because you need to continue your studies after the coming back, this is also very important. So it's what strong recommend to discuss it with your uh, international office. Be nice to conduct the kind of sessions back so as before. So we will also take the consideration. So the weather is changing this the official sessions language so far. This is uh, the first lecture which is organized by me. So therefore, the first lesson is organized uh, the only in English language. Maybe the next hour session will be in Uzbek language as well. Okay, the follow-up question, the, can we apply to the Erasmus Mundus if we um, sorry, if we do not receive our diploma yet, senior students. Okay, um, let's see. It's recommended to from us to the apply <laughs> bachelor and your transcript from your university, even though they not providing, but you need to request from them because without your bachelor or without your transcript to the apply for the proofs through the official link. So this is uh, shows you the error because the old field must be filled. And afterwards you may apply. But keep in mind that overall, if you don't receive the, the original one, but if you receive the electronic one, this is okay. So because you will uh, request from your university to give at least your electronic version to apply. Okay, we received the second question. Uh, what are the selection criteria for the students? So um, I also uh, give the answer, but overall, let's remind one more time. Uh, from the university, it depends, but overall general requirements, it's to uh, indicating the two recommend, recommend, recommendation letters. So from your acad uh, ad academic staff, 
for your professor or the teacher and write your the motivational letter and the uh, IELTS or TOEFL or the overall the certificate that proves your English proficiency. This is also very important. And uh, followed by is your curriculum IT uh, in your past pharma and uh, attach your diploma or uh, uh, transcript. So this is all about the ICM. No, this is all about the Erasmus Mundus Joint Masters. But for the ICM, uh, it depends on the university which uh, which is a partner of your local university. For example, you are uh, studying in Tashkent State Technical University and uh, the partners of Tashkent State Technical University is Spain, France, and uh, let's say uh, Italy. And if in these countries, the universities requires some motivational or recommendational letter from them, their side, so you need to indicate, you need to prove these documents. You need to give them these documents. If they didn't, so that's okay. But overall, I do recommend you to get the GPA, turn in normal the GPA for them because you, in order to show you are the good students and if you are doing your exchange in European Union universities, so it helps you and it helps you your academic achievements in the cruiser. Um, okay, uh, dears, uh, also do not uh, forget to um, uh, look more opportunity from our official web portal, so Rasmus Plus, um, join our social media, Instagram, Telegram, and find more information about the Rasmus Plus opportunities from our website, erasmus.us. If you have still question, please, uh, and mute it and he can give you directly to me or if you want to just write your question so I'm ready and we will have uh, about three minutes left for the Q&A session so if there are any other questions so I'm free to ask for all your questions Okay, uh, overall, the conclusion is, uh, let's say, our, the, this online session, this is just a test format for you. Uh, we will organize these kind of sessions uh, regularly. So it depends on the time. So we will let you know when exactly we will organize this kind of session. And uh, hope you found it really useful and we receive two questions so let's first read it out this question which is given by uh my dear is there any scholarship for postdoctoral program uh if oh sorry yeah if i don't work or study in partner institute yeah for postdoctoral program it's also existing in business scale of erasmus plus and if you remember, I also the, give the link of opportunities for the individuals. So it also gives some opportunities for the you and as the rest of the people has the same question for postdoctoral programs existing and the deadlines and the requirements. Uh, just go through to this link and get more information. It's existing and I do believe that you will find uh available scholarship for the postdoctoral programs if you really want i can also leave this uh link right now just a second just a second yeah this one for uh sorry for anyone yeah for everyone Uh, send this thing 
for the everyone so they can uh, find these overall opportunities for Erasmus Plus uh, catalog. So find this with a key words. And Aziza is still rising her hand. Aziza, I am ready to listen, but I think you have the, the question. Okay. Uzbekistan students eligible for Erasmus intern website says which country students are eligible, but couldn't find the list of these countries. Okay. Uh, in this case, in order to the, write the proper uh, intern opportunities, as I said, this international credit mobility, it gives you opportunity to do your uh, one semester abroad. And after the finishing one semester, you may also uh, find opportunity to do your internship. Here is it. Let's say if you want to do uh, internship after the finishing one semester in Europe, it's better to discuss with your university firstly. So they are allowing that to do your internship or there has some uh, contract between the companies. So it's better to discuss from your uh, university. So what kind of the partner university they are partnering so far, and they will give the exact university and exact company list so if they uh, have the contract between them or not okay uh thank you for you to uh saying thank you uh okay uh now it's time to finish our online session hope you enjoyed and find it very useful and this is not the last time, and we will do this kind of session regularly. And I do believe that you also find it really useful. And if you have some uh, feedbacks related to this online session, please leave your comment in our Telegram channel. So we are really happy to receive and develop ourselves from your according to your feedback. And maybe in the next session, I will also include some really important and practically some knowledges where we can also consider and develop yourself and prepare yourself for the receiving grants. Uh, thank you for you too, uh, receiving lots of the thanks and see you in your next session. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy your rest of the day. Thank you a lot.